Welcome back to the channel everybody <clears throat> And boy do I have a story for you guys today So right now I'm just heading off to the bank grab some cash Then we'll, uh, start dri then we'll drive around for a bit So while we're at the stoplight <clears throat> So make sure you pay attention because uh People around here don't. And I'll tell you guys a story in a bit. And this fucking Honda is right up my ass, man. Literally for nothing. Fucking idiot. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna pause the video because I'm not gonna take a the GoPro into the bank. If I could get into the bank. Okay, so we're back. <coughs> and it's hot. Must be, I think, 36 today. The wind's a bit higher than normal, so hopefully that keeps the GoPro cool. Last time, man, that scared the crap out of me. I literally thought my GoPro was finished. <clears throat> uh, da -da -da. Well, that's one way to move, I guess. Wow. So again, if you hear the auto change dip from uh, bleh, verbal diarrhea, if you hear the audio changes, it means I have my uh, visor cracked open a bit. Right now, it's not that bad, so just want to get to a stoplight. So the new fender I put on the back is awesome, but I had to adjust it. It was down too low, so I did that before I left my house today. Because uh, last night going home from work was raining a bit, but the roads were all nasty. It, I, my, where my backpack sits was literally like a puddle of water right there. It was pretty disgusting. It's because you're sitting there trenching it and throw it in reverse. I'm not going to freaking treat you different. Ooh, okay. Why isn't anybody going? Truck, you're supposed to go next, dude. Uh, I'm going a bit fast, but I need to get up this hill. I got a cube van behind me. <clears throat> I don't want to go on this bike path because it goes to the sidewalk. Well, he's just going to have to be patient. When the city put this uh, road in, it should put a bike path at the same time. I just hit my kill switch. Whoopsie daisy. I just love it and they blocked the well, he's not really blocking it but gosh oh, she stinks out here it's probably the ditches <clears throat> I don't think it would matter if I honked at him I don't think you'd be able to hear me Okay, so I missed my turn. I wanted to go down to my local e-bike shop 
it's a piece I'm looking to order. I'm gonna go over here and I'll turn around. I got plenty of time, so. Nice, hey, Mark. Alrighty, so I got a story for everybody. The other day I was coming home from work and I was going down by the side of the lights I usually come across. It's called Second and St. Felix. Pretty known lights, like I said, lights. And uh, if I was 10 seconds sooner, I would have been pavement paced. Uh, the, the, there was an SUV that ran the light and it scared the crap out of me. If I, like I said, if I was 10 seconds more, it wouldn't be, it'd be a different conversation because I wouldn't be here. So, as I see them rolling through, I locked it up. I stopped, obviously. Everybody else around me was just looking at me like I, uh, for, for, just, they're just looking at me like that was normal. I'm like, I have, a, I have the green light. He just ran a red light. So, what I did, I just moved over off to the side of the road with my turn signal on. Just to collect myself because that caught me off guard. Obviously, it scared the crap out of me. <clears throat> Thankfully, there's nobody behind me, so I just sat there. The light changed to red. And when I did, I just moved back over to my lane, and when I turned to green again, I just took off. Obviously, being very cautious because the last time I seen that happen it was my first started riding e bikes because one guy went through and another guy followed them. But I don't understand why. <clears throat> that was like five years ago so now if that wasn't me but somebody else was going down that street they they would have gotten t-bone i gotta get some air in here so that was my story for the for last week we all have families let's go home to them safely there's there's no real re there's no reason behind that none I'm okay. The only thing I had to do was literally change my shorts when I got home. That's the only thing I had to do. So yeah. So as you guys can see, I'm still coming out here. There is no gate. There is no signs. So to me, I'm so allowed out here. Until they start doing all that, then I'll stop. I still see people coming out here. Like you guys seen from Wednesday's video. You guys seen there is another vehicle up here right up the way. It looks sketchy as shit. So I just turned around, right? So when I come out here, I don't do anything besides leave footprints. Ooh, this is that rubbing. Oh, it's probably dirt from uh, the other night when I took a, a home in the rain. Excuse me. And of course, you look at the ground here, uh, the pave, the uh, tarmac, oh, it's called tarmac. You, you can see what people are doing out here. I'm on an e-bike. The only thing I can do is kick up dirt. I don't think it was for this wind. I don't think it would be, uh, it'd be pretty disgusting outside. Right now, I'm on the bike, right? So I'm wearing a black t-shirt. And I'm driving on this, so it's obviously a bit warmer. And the wind's on my back right now. It won't be like that when I turn around, though, thankfully. I can use the breeze. <clears throat> like I said in Wednesday's video, it's going to be a very humid summer. So, when you're out riding by yourself, make sure you carry plenty of water. Or Gatorade, whatever it is you may drink. Obviously not alcohol because I would dehydrate the crap out of you and you're not supposed to be drinking when you're driving your e-bike. It's actually illegal. <coughs> okay, I'll stop rambling on. So, if you're out in a group ride, <laughs> make sure uh, your buddies have water with them. Because in this type of weather, it doesn't take long to get dehydrated. Everybody handles the heat differently. And heat-related illnesses, are, they happen quick. 
See how this tire does off road. There's a lot. This, this thing has a lot of tread on it. <clears throat> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start whipping donuts because you know this bike's not meant for that. <clears throat> how tempting it is to do. Okay. Turn off that kill switch. Come on. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to tell you guys. I uh, have a foot, like a widened foot, foot on my kickstand. I got that when I had my uh, Phantom F1, as you guys can see. Um, when I bought it, I think it was meant for a Kawasaki Ninja, or or it was Universal. I can't remember. I can't even find it on Amazon either. I, think, I don't think they sell it no more. Well, that didn't fit on my Phantom F1. It fits on this one no problem because the way the foot is bent is flat, right? So I stuck it on there and I reefed it down in each one and it hasn't come off since and it's been doing great. I like it because I can go to the park, put the bike in the grass and it won't sink down. So I don't even have to carry like a crushed can or, or a piece of wood with me for my kickstand. I asked you at one time I didn't even thought about change out the kickstand, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. Does that work perfectly? I actually found that. I forgot I even had it. Okay, so here is the new fender I put on. Yes, I already made another video about it. Now I had it down too low, and today I just moved it up more. So I have a, a less of a gap between here because when the wheel is spinning, right, it comes up mostly on the end or or here. Again, I'm going to have this trial and error now, right? So, and I can't really move it up anymore because this bolt is hitting is right, literally like a like a hair from the actual caliper. So I might have to get either a smaller bolt or again throw a zip tie on it, which I don't want to do. And it actually gives it some more protection, and that's it. No, I still haven't painted that yet. I haven't gotten down to getting tired to get some more paint. Give it like a quick wipe down. It says we're getting a lot of rain in the area. I've been driving this one quite a lot. I don't mind it. As I really like this bike. Well, I like both my bikes. With well, this one here, I had a lot more time and money invested in it. I don't understand why that's up so high. Huh. Uh, there's something blocking. I'm gonna have to check it out. Oh, so nice, but so warm. The breeze is nice, too. So there we go, guys. There's my little, uh, semi-dirty little street fighter. So, if you enjoyed the video today, slap a like on that like button thing there down below. You guys know what I'm talking about. Motivate me to do some more videos. <coughs> Normally, I don't ask you guys for that, but I thought I'd ask. With that said, everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video. That box is still sitting there. That's, no, wow, okay. I hope you <laughs> ADD moment. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. A nice little ride around before I go to work. So take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.